The parking lot was packed at the Manistee Township Hall tonight for the Planning Commission meeting as dozens of residents packed tightly inside to listen to Superstore Meyer representatives present potential plans for moving in. The residents here uh, had some fantastic comments, some very good questions. Uh, some of them are rather difficult questions to answer and I think that they were very uh, accurate in being able to describe and provide good sound answers to those questions. The retail giant owns 20 acres of land on the southeast corner of US 31 and M55, the possible site for the new business. Though the process is in its early stages of development and Meyer has not made a final decision on whether or not to build in Manistee, people had plenty of questions to ask. Uh, I was just wondering, how in the world was Manistee selected as a proposed site for Meyer? A big concern at tonight's meeting, how this large store will affect the small businesses in Manistee. Um, the AES, the Alliance for Economic Success, did an impact study a few years ago and realized there is over a $40 million leakage of retail sales going to other communities to either the east or the south, to either Ludington or Cadillac, and that doesn't even include Traverse City. So there is quite a need for uh, retail opportunities within Manistee County. You know, our thought is always the competition is good for everybody, it increases everybody's uh, quality of products and services and we hope that everybody can all rise to meet the challenge. Another being landscaping issues and how they plan to come to agreements with the township about how much landscaping needs to be added in order to meet ordinance agreements. The fact that uh, many tree species can't survive in small islands within large areas of asphalt because of the heat island effect. You get radiated heat and it's just not healthy for the plants that are there. Um, they're also taking strides to create larger landscaped islands on the exterior of the parking lot or the perimeter. Meyer also presented plans for a gas station, bottle return, gardening center, as well as a parking lot large enough to hold nearly 700 spaces.